All right, it is 624 time now for our pet of the week. And today we have Raider joining us from the Nevada Humane Society with Handler Trent Bingham to talk a little bit about Raider. He is a sweet pup. Yeah. I think it's a little bit early for him right now. It is a little early. <laughs> I don't think he appreciated the early wake up call. But um, boy, he is sweet. Look at him down here. If we can get the camera, just kind of tilt it down. Raider, come here. Oh yeah, no, he's, he's, he's like, you know, the, the floor is yeah. comfortable, he's yeah. fine. Tell us a little bit about him. As you can see, Raider is perfectly comfortable um, having hanging out on the carpet, but he is an active dog. He really does love playing fetch a lot. He loves going on walks. He could use a few, an experienced handler who can help with some leash handling, and uh, an active home would be a perfect spot for him. So someone who is familiar with dogs, it should not be a first dog kind of home. Probably But not. someone who wants to go out, maybe take him on hikes and... Like I said, walks around the neighborhood, play fetch. He really fetch. enjoys that. He loves fetch. He loves it very much. He loves to have zoomies in a backyard. Would be his favorite thing in the world with a ball in his mouth. Oh, and zoomies. he's happy as can be. Those zoomies are fine. And, and uh, he got me a little bit with his tail there. He gets very excited. He does. Um, and he's just, he's a really sweet, kind of mellow dog right now. But, you know, he when the afternoon hits, that's when the... Yeah, the zoomies come out. Yeah, it's uh, whenever he can get a chance, get a ball in his mouth. He's very happy for that. Um, one other thing to mention about him is he's one of our longest term dogs. We've had him since December. We've been able to get him out of the kennel a couple of times with some wonderful foster families, but he would love to find that forever home. December, that's a long time to just go kind of be in and out and not really know exactly where you're going to be. And you were telling me if he meets other, he has to meet some other dogs first yes. before you guys will let him go to another home. Yes, we highly recommend that for him. Okay. And we also have some great news. We're going two on two on our adoption for you guys that are with do dogs that we featured two weeks ago has found a home. Very much so, and uh, did so great on camera. We had a couple of people uh, calling a week afterwards saying, where is that dog? Oh, that is great news. We love to hear that. Raider, do you want to come sit up here? He's just enjoying, <laughs> see, I think maybe we're gonna have to adopt him here at Polo. He is <laughs> just loving uh, this carpet here. Oh my gosh, what a sweet pup. And you guys still feeling full at the shelter? Would Really could use some help getting we some could, animals out? We could very much use some help getting some animals out. Um, we are we're still full. We have wonderful adoptable animals in, in all of our kennels, um, and we'd love to see them go home. So maybe if Raider's a little bit too big of a dog for you, got plenty of cats there to check out as well. So we if you want to meet Raider, who really is, we were just playing. I think he's a little tired. We're going to have to give you some doggy breakfast here in a bit, give you some energy, and we'll find you a ball to play with. But if you would like to meet Raider, you can just check him out at the Nevada Humane Society. They open at 11 today on Longley Lane. Trent, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Rebecca. All right. See you with us. We'll be right back.